podcasts need an opener, so. So, like, I was just walking down the street. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Is that stupid? No, I don't know. <laughs> um, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> no. We- no. Nope. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Squaring Yay. that away. Right that's away. Fine, that's nope. fine. So this is the first ever recording of Disrespectfully. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, we decided to come up with a little podcast. Yes. Um, if you don't know who we are, this is Aria uh, uh-huh. um, and me, Mark. Uh, <laughs> you might know us by, uh, say your name. Uh, to, oh, my name? Yeah. Oh, the jam. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> You fucked this up already. (laughs) We just started and you fucked it up. I got confused. Like, okay. (laughs) My name? What? I have one of the... Okay. The Jam Plan. Yeah. On the internet. On the interwebs. Most people would know me as that one anti-Semite on Twitter. No, no, no. (laughs) No, no. No, 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 no. Wait, we don't have to... We ease into it. We ease into it. (laughs) No, we just started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It had to be on season yeah. six before. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you might know me as uh, Mark After Dark, mm-hmm. a, a gaming uh, Let's Player. Yes. There you go. Also a gaming Let's Player streamer for me, too. That is kind of funny that at the end of the day, that is like the number one thing we have in common. If you don't know, uh, n- 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 like... <laughs> Okay, I actually had a brain melt. Uh, <laughs> numero uno reason why we kind of wanted to start a podcast yeah. was uh, we're the only people we know in the city and we know in person that are like content creators or like influencers, whatever. Like yeah. we do online work. And so we thought, fuck it, we'll just kind of make a podcast because we have that connection and we kind of get that about each other. And we're going to exactly. probably talk about that sort of stuff at some point. And we just happen to live in the same city. So here we are. Convenient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, today, this is like episode zero. Yeah. So this episode is just zero. us sort of trying it out. And mm-hmm. we had an idea of we're just the, the kind of give people an intro to who we are. And if you want to keep, uh, I know you've clicked out by now, <laughs> but hang on. You're still here. <laughs> Congratulations. It gets better. Don't worry. Uh, we were going to ask each other. We're going to interview each other. Okay. Yes. To kind of give you guys an idea of who we are you and know, what this might be like. And I'm hoping to learn some new things about you too. That's true. Christ. Some of these <laughs> things I've only shared with my therapist. Oh, <laughs> and legally they can't talk about it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you want to go first? Okay. All right. So, who's a big bad evil guy in a video game or movie that you were secretly rooting for? What the fuck? <laughs> Why do you have actual good questions? What do you mean? You just that fucked was, me up. That was the whole <laughs> mine are dog shit. They're like, what's your. F-? It literally says favorite color. <gasps> and the cat. The cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's two at a time. Tuna. Hey, yo. Oh, oh my the baby. gosh! baby, you can just barely see him. <laughs> Hello, um, big bad in a vi- movie or a video game? Anything, yeah. That I'm secretly rooting for. Yeah. Fuck. Um, you know, I thought I'd just hit you with the hardest one right away. That's a really <laughs> fucking good one. Like, who's the bad guy that I'm rooting for? I'm kind of like, no, they're right. I, I guess Rorschach. Like, if you think about it, I kind of, I like, I'm one of those people. I'm like, he's right ultimately because, like, I'm not saying he's a good person. I'm just saying that I think ultimately he was doing the right thing mm-hmm. in a way. And then you could also argue that Ozymandias, this is, I'm talking about uh, Watchmen, uh, was probably doing the right thing too. It's very morally gray, that that comic. Um, <laughs> I, would, I would say Rorschach, but like, I guess any like hot woman who's an <laughs> evil person i guess wait are you a babe i'm rooting for you now oh wow kind of a babe okay wait i i was gonna make fun of you for that but i it's kind of the same for me uh, can, I, can we do this too since we have like limited questions can we actually just do it back and forth yeah no, yeah what's just, yours yeah well okay because it's kind of a meme among my community now that someone i would always secretly root for is uh handsome jack <laughs> Oh, that's right. I, that's right. <laughs> that's kind of what inspired the question as I was thinking about that. Um, and yeah, you know, in your when you were saying if, if they're a baddie, like I'm still going to root for you. Like with me, you know, if you make me laugh, like, yeah, you scoop someone's eyes out with a spoon. But, you know, you're making me laugh so much and now I'm rooting for you. So yeah. that's kind of the thing. It's 
It is kind of a, it is a plus. It's, <laughs> it's like, a plus. It's like a get out of j- yeah, jail free card really just for being really extremely hot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and funny. Yes. It's so true. Um, oh, my question. That's right. Mm-hmm. So I got distracted by two. So my favorite color. <laughs> what are your hobbies? <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding. Why did I write this? <laughs> my, <laughs> I feel like. Oh, Jesus. God, I actually hate that question. Yeah, okay, can we... <laughs> because, s- do you no, want to no, skip? No, 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 Because I never know what to say. Oh, okay. Because when someone says, what are your hobbies? It's like, uh, I don't know, like, napping? Uh, like, I take baths sometimes. Is that a hobby? <laughs> like, what am I... What? I go on little walks for a tasty little treat. Like, I don't know. What is my hobby? <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, well... I I guess it. Let's just pretend like nobody knows anything about you. So even if it's like gaming. Yeah, I guess I play video games. Yeah. I've been playing Disco Elysium a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's you a fun told me one. that's pretty good. Just like you just get to be a uh, investigator, policeman, and solve murders. Or a one murder in particular. And you get to be insane. Let's and I identify with that. You no, know? that's actually like really dope. I've heard nothing but really good things about that one, too. But like. The whole video game thing is is kind of sweet because I guess it, it kind of yeah. made a job out of that. And see, that's the thing. Okay, that's my problem. Okay. Oh, is it? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Because okay. it's my job, kind of, because I have a streamer who streams video games. So now I I don't feel like I have the right to say, well, it's also my hobby. I'm stuck in a rock and a hard place here. Filmmaking. What? That's like my hobby, and yet it's like a it's a work, and but yet I and I love it. I, well, you, you can absolutely okay. say that a hobby is also your job, and then that's like still a hobby. I guess. I, I, okay, okay, that like that fucking definition of like, oh, it's not like real work. That's just like, that's <laughs> boomers. That's boomers. That's boomer. uh, no, that we literally is like a family thing where mm. there's just like, oh, well, this isn't like a job. It's like a hobby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I'm not trying to be. Uh, in, I'm not saying hobby in a blittingly way. I'm saying it by textbook definition, mm-hmm. which is something that. The generation what that is, wait. ingested a lot of lead wouldn't understand. <laughs> um, what is the definition of a hobby? A fun, cool, rad thing. Yeah, it's just a like rad your vibe, bro. You're like it's just kind of like it's what's it's what's it's your It's like vibe. whatever. <laughs> no, I don't is know. It, uh, can drugs be a hobby? Yes. Alcohol. Yeah. Can guns be a hobby? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we're on the same page. There's even hobbies that I can't mention on mic. <laughs> <laughs> concerned? Um, I'm concerned. There's some bad people out there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no. See, you're a cultured man. You can do, you can have a lot of answers for hobbies. You got filmmaking, uh, photography. Uh,. You also got games on your shoulders. That's true. I mean, like, I, I, I technically have done the same as you, but, like, in a smaller way. Um, it's it's not quite as successful, but I do make a little couple memes about <laughs> video games. Like, I, like I stream. No, what? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean not as successful? Your numbers are definitely better than mine. <laughs> Dude, you know, that's wild because, like, I literally found you because you were a successful YouTuber. That's true, but that was like that was like a part of like something that was like a whole different thing. Yeah. No, you're not like you no, know, you're doing like you literally like are doing so well. Well, I try, I try. Thank you. Yeah. No. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> like, it, it's like that's not. I secretly resent you for it, but <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, it's it's a uh, no, but it's like it's cool. It's like one of the things we have in common. I actually yeah. forget that sometimes that like that's how you know me. Yep. Is you just went? Yeah, I was a creeper. I went on. <laughs> I, w- I went on to your YouTube. I'm like, hey, what a cool guy. I'll watch his videos. <laughs> oh, hey, he lives in my city. What's up? <laughs> stalker. Just like probing question, but like, where do you jog? Um, <laughs> where are you, you jog, usually yeah. between these times? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. Oh, what the fuck were we on? Oh, hobbies. Yeah. Hobbies. Yeah, the photography, filmmaking, mm-hmm. gaming, um, coffee. That's a hobby. I think. I honestly <laughs> Actually, think. Actually, yeah, yeah. You you make it a coffee. You, you make it a hobby. You're not like when you say coffee's your hobby. It's not like you're going to Starbucks and ordering lattes. You actually. <laughs> it's like. Ah, kind of a big deal to me. <laughs> you actually, like, coffee is your hobby. You can say that you have a coffee machine. You mastered the art of the mistos and the lattes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, the more I think about it, it's just like, 
you 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 get into something and then you don't realize how horribly deep you are into it until you wake up and you're just surrounded by it. That might be just a you thing. Yeah. <laughs> There is an think... espresso machine right next to my bed, and whenever oh, this is so fucking embarrassing. Okay, legitimately, I sleep with my camera gear, like my actual cinema camera. Wait, wait, I don't is know like, this about you. Oh no, it's 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 sometimes it's just an unconscious thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I put it down on my bed. And I'm mm. like, well, I'll go to bed. Yeah. And I just wake up and I'm staring right down right. the lens, and I'm just like, how are you doing, sweetie? He's like, you miss Sweet. daddy? Like, <laughs> I'm like, Holy shit. oh my god, <laughs> no, no, it's early. <laughs> I like, it's actually fucking pathetic, but like, that is true. That's actually a weird thing that is like something you would use it as a visual in a movie no, or something you, to make fun of somebody, but it's true. It's you love your work, you will put your work to bed with you, literally. Yeah, and that's that's what I love about you. <laughs> I told you I was going to talk about things that I've only talked about to my yeah. therapist. <laughs> we're, we're already there, right? We just started. That was the second question. That yeah, that's uh, your turn. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Trudeau, our prime minister. Fucking hell. So pretend by some miracle he's not in office anymore. Who would you like to replace him? Like I like an actual pol- no fuck no, that no 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 just anybody in the world it's I, your choice this is, like this this is gonna be my like only political opinion on this podcast <laughs> quote me on that I would bring Jack Layton back to life I would cure him of his cancer and then just make him run because he was like the only politician I actually ever gave a shit about and he's like long dead okay uh, um, so pretend for a second I am an ignorant slut and I don't know who that is he's just a funny man <laughs> yeah. I think he, I think he's like the leader of the NDP party at one uh. point. But he okay, actually okay. looked like he gave a shit. Oh, my God. So he didn't have a chance to disappoint me. So that's mm-hmm. why I like him so ah, much. Ah, yes, because he, he died before he could disappoint you? Yeah. Okay. And I like to make up conspiracy theories in my head. It's like they yes. Dr. Manhattan to him. They like they, they gave him cancer. Oh they just God. didn't want him to win. Uh, you never know. <laughs> you never know. No, but uh, I uh, like as a any person to run for this country and bring us. I want. Matt Johnson of um, Nirvana the band the show and, and <laughs> to run he's a director he's a funny Canadian man too yeah. that's the, I'm keeping it Canadian oh, good good he's a very very funny uh, Canadian filmmaker but he's like a comedian like he's just one of the funniest guys ever I had the pleasure of meeting him in person once really well he was he was here for Viff during his film Operation Avalanche mm. if you don't know who this this man is please look up the television show Nirvana the band the show it's the funniest fucking thing that's ever been made it's 100% Canadian and yeah (laughs) I would just like to see what the hell he would do and he seems like a very he's had to be very legal savvy with his films they've they've done a lot of like copyright infringement stuff but gotten totally past it just because they know what they're doing they apparently have like the greatest lawyer in the world like, we love that. Yeah, so uh, that's that's my pick. Who would you have run our country? Oh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I have no idea. Can it be like, um, what about anarchy? Like, just no government rule? <laughs> okay, if we just go back, if we go back to like small little, if we all like the vi- like M. Night Shyamalan's yeah, The Village, yeah, if yeah, we yeah, just yeah. like f- splinter yeah. off into little communes. Go Amish. Absolutely. Yes. We bring back paganism and we mm. just... Mm. We fucking rock and roll. We sacrifice <laughs> one newborn every solstice, <laughs> and like the crops will grow. Okay. I guarantee this. I don't know about like this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, that's it. Like <laughs> you don't know who. No, I really don't trust anybody with running anything. That's true. Especially a country. Yeah, kitty. I know. I think they wish you just. But like, can I like tuna? A cat? Tuna? A literal cat? Are you gonna run? Like, can you be the leader? Will you make sure that? I don't perish when you start using people as food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then you might start eating people. We'll see. That's a good question. Mine's garbage. Um, <laughs> Wait, are you, you used to be allergic to cats, right? Or you still are? I absolutely 100% are. And I think I might have to take a pill because I actually kind of feel it around my eyes right no, now. No. Oh God. Don't yeah. touch your eyeballs. Oh, I, I already leaving. did. Actually, that's, Why that's long that? gone. That's oh, no. long gone. Um, here, just, this will be quick. We're taking a quick break. For cat allergies and eye wash. 
Where's my pills? <laughs> Where's my pills? <laughs> no, actually, where are they? Fuck. You know what? I uh, I just saw a video today about if you feed your cat egg whites, like egg white powder in their cat food, it somehow mitigates people to be allergic to them. I don't get how it works. You really got to get off this astrology shit. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get off TikTok, hon. It's not good. It's not good for you. All right. Um, mm-hmm. hmm. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Your question. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> Did you put that on there? Yeah. <laughs> can we, we can skip that one. Fuck that. Um, it actually sucks. I am going to start living my grandma life. Yes. Just go full grandma. We're already almost there. I got my grandma sweater. I've been making myself oatmeal in the morning. I make sure it's like extra mushy, you oh, know, for my old grandma teeth. It's the dream. The dream, really. I still listen to podcasts and uh, audiobooks daily, you know. And the see, by five years, I'm hoping to learn how to knit. You know, I was just thinking, like, how hard can knitting be, really? Because it's like, it's two sticks. How complicated can something be? <laughs> Using two sticks. Like, I can eat with two sticks. Can you use chopsticks? Yeah. Okay. I can, okay, I can use chopsticks. <laughs> so I can. clown on you. Exactly. Uh, I could eat with two sticks. So I think I could make a sweater with two sticks. That's actually cool. I do like knitting. Like, I think that's. Do in- you knit? No. <laughs> I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> oh, um, like I'm a guy. Uh, yeah. We I'm not this. some fairy. No. <laughs> like knitting but you haven't no i like the concept of it <laughs> like you know it'd be yeah, yeah, that yeah. or like i wouldn't have this on yeah it, no oh, i i like i like, I like textiles <laughs> you know it's it's oh good God. it's no it is good it, and it's uh it's very admirable when people i like like i'm a i'm a sucker for anything artisan yeah whenever people make things that's such by a- hand such a hipster if you think to say. Uh, yeah, but uh, have you checked? I'm not a hipster. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's just, art is in everything. I yeah. think it's like uh, it makes the world a little bit better. And I look, I think that's like my philosophy on a lot of things. It's just like if things were just a little more condensed. It's funny I stole your answer. But like <laughs> legitimately, if we just lived in like small little communes and villages... Yeah. Yeah, it would be like everything would be so much we better. We used to, uh, and then we gave up that life for the internet. Well, you know what? There's this really great guy named Ted Kaczynski, and he talked about the industrial revolution and all its consequences. Yeah. And uh, frankly, I think he said some pretty good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> he was on to something. Do you know who that is? No. <laughs> that's the Unabomber. That's the <laughs> that's a terrorist. He's not like okay. Legitimately, he's not wrong in some as- as- aspects. There were some things he said that were kind of cool. Now hear me out. Now the listen. <laughs> no, not a great guy. Especially when you read his like diaries. Like there's some weird shit. He 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 was he hated people. Just like just legitimately hated people. He believed in eugenics. Um, <sighs> he's like anybody who has allergies or illnesses should just die. Yeah, so I just wouldn't make it. I guess, <laughs> like I can't, I can't be a full on uh, Ted head. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn. Oh my God, the cat makes your eyes water. It's done for you. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I just like Jesus. Ted, I've got the sniffles again. He just puts a gun to the back of my head. <laughs> just thinning out the herd. Oh my God. No, he doesn't seem like a great guy. No. But no. We don't. We do not endorse terrorism here. We don't like it. No. Definitely not. But if you want to read his manifesto, don't, we it's don't. out there. We, and I'm no, just we saying. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's actually a very good video. Next question. Oh, my God. <laughs> there's a good Windigoon Vindu- 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 video on it. Uh, and he does not say anything nice about the man. It's a very accurate depiction of good, him. Good, good, good. Um, oh, five years. Five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Jesus Christ. Uh, fucking dead. <laughs> oh my god! I hope it's. Okay, you're still alive on this plane. Um, fuck sakes! I, <laughs> I like. I would love to just get more into the whole directing thing. I just. I really want to be a director now. Now that I got a, a sweet, sweet taste of it. Yeah, you've really gotten a taste for it. The yeah. past like two years, I think you've really dipped your 
big old toe in it. For those of you who don't know, I I'm currently in the in the uh, midst of making a, my first short film, my first like only directed and written short film, and you helped me on that. You actually you were doing everything. One of like the no, one of the biggest. No, you were made. doing everything. I was to the side, but like assisting a little bit. But sometimes. yeah, no, like super helpful. Like she mm. was she was doing my BTS. Like yeah, I'm literally putting the BTS out there. It was it was all Aria. Um, it was really good. But like um. Only time I've ever gotten a taste for being a director mm-hmm. on anything. But I, I always wanted to make movies when I was, yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. Um, and uh, once I got... It's just that thing that you do a ton of self-doubt. As you get older, you start to go, okay, maybe I'm not going to be a director. I'll be something else. Mm-hmm. And so you start to find different routes. And cinematographer is what I really thought I was going to be. And then the second I directed that with everybody, mm-hmm. I was like, no, I, I think this really is what I want to do. So Um, cinematographer is someone who's like just specifically behind the camera? Yeah, in control of all the shots. They're like second in command to the director. Mm -hmm. So I think the realization was it's not a control thing. Mm -hmm. It's not I want to be the head honcho. It was just that uh, I want to be the head honcho. (laughs) No, it was like it was just that it felt right. And I felt like I had to communicate certain things and only a director could do that. It was like, okay, so this is actually pretty fucking great. Like, and I think I can handle it. Well, a director is like, you have the vision and it's all about putting that vision into reality and making something and trying to replicate what you have in your head as closely as possible. Yeah, it's true. It's like, and that's why second to that, I was like, oh, well, okay, I'll just become a cinematographer then. Right. Because it's essentially the same thing without having to deal with all the rest. Yeah. Um, It's, um, little bugger. Um, and, you know, I'd still like to be a cinematographer. Mm-hmm. Just like, I'm only going to direct sometimes. But, yeah. So, that's a five-year plan. I would really like to make that more of a full-time thing and also get, like, my side channel off the ground yeah. a little bit more. Because I, I just, yeah, I, I, lo- I love the film stuff. Um, maybe I can balance out my life of doing the video game stuff and that. Hopefully. That's it. Yeah. No, honestly, like, you're already on the way to that like you definitely see that happening in five years easy yeah and i guess for a real answer for me i don't really want to be a grandma (laughs) surprisingly not yet not yet uh (laughs) but um i think i just really want to get more into voice acting and um i actually this week i scheduled uh it's like a video call with someone who's going to go through like the career aspect of voice acting kind of what you need to know to get into that field and it's completely free. And so I was like, yeah, why not? And it's uh, this studio that I used to be taught from like years ago before COVID and everything. So I'm like, I trust them. And yeah, that's why awesome not? That's awesome shit. Info, so. No, that's awesome. Yeah. You, you're definitely a really good voice actor. I want to see you in more things. I want to see you hone that craft. Yeah, but I, I need to do more honing of crafting. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's the thing. And like, it's not even me saying, like, uh, it's because you never stop learning. That's the exactly. truth. Exactly. You never no, stop learning. It's like true. you always got to refine. So that's, that's sweet. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm really excited for that. Yeah, that's dope. Is it? Oh, is it my turn for questions? I think it is. Next one. So I asked some fucking. Like, I had some uh, like a little sh- tangent. I had some stupid woman ask me <laughs> ask me that same question on a first date. It's like what? five year plan. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> it's like yeah. we just met. You, like you should like, be asking me what's my a... favorite color, which is my next question. <laughs> Wait, that's so weird because that's literally like an interview question for a job. Yes, and that's so strange because a lot of people going on dates actually take first dates as job interviews which just seems that so is unnatural insane that's that that is actual mental illness <laughs> you can't do <laughs> you know you've done it you're mental <laughs> pointing at you specifically yeah uh, uh, rachel <laughs> i know it was you you're so zonked buddy oh my gosh okay oh okay so what is a movie that always makes you cry? Oh fuck! Uh, Life Aquatic with what? Steve Zissou. What's that about? Uh, that is about that's a Wes Anderson film. Mm-hmm. I got like I'm only named like I got more than one. I, I but that's yeah. the first one. Uh, that's by Wes Anderson. It's about a uh marine is he a marine biologist or documentary filmmaker played by Bill Murray. 
who is sort of getting washed up and his partner dies to a random shark that's never been seen before hmm. called which they named the jaguar shark and he's distraught and it's part one of the documentary and he's like oh i'm gonna go find the shark and they're like oh and study it for like scientific purposes like no kill it and they're like what would be the scientific purpose of that he's like revenge <laughs> and so Wait, i kind of love that and he's so he, he's on this like revenge mission yeah. to find the shark and they have but it's it's one of the best movies about making movies too because mm. they are a documentary film crew so it's about it explores everything of like how they get the money because they have to charter this thing how they get the funding and then meanwhile the like personal story is that uh o- owen wilson shows up and he's like i'm your illegitimate son and my mom just died and i just wanted to meet you yeah and he goes oh okay and he's like yeah i have to go back to i'm like in the air force mm-hmm. like i just got to go back to base but i thought it'd be nice to like meet you and he said and he's just like why don't you come with me and oh. then he does and he drops everything and it's like this weird father son oh story my God. Yeah. and even though he's like this like bastard that he never met mm-hmm. and he's like an adult now and yeah. they're He's like attempting to be a dad, but the thing is, Aww. Bill Murray's character is such a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. But it's so endearing because yeah. he's like he's trying at oh. least. Dude, so, that, is that what gets you in the movies? That what makes you cry that, when he's like trying. That, it's such a it's such a father son movie. Yeah, and it it fucks me right in the feels. It's oh. just so good, and it's it's a total tearjerker. Like mm-hmm. I think it's actually I think one that would make me cry. Yeah, too. I think it's like Wes Anderson's best, if not like my personal best. What's it called again? Uh, the Life Aquatic, Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that because yeah, I, the fa- it's funny father son stuff gets me too. Even like father daughter stuff, like yeah. it just it really makes me cry too. Even I cried during the Goofy movie. No, no it's true though. It's <laughs> fucking, fucking true. Me, like it's... seeing a, a dad down in his luck, like trying his best. It's like okay, I'm gonna what, start crying when now. he finds out about the map. Oh, oh my god, god. Oh, what god. the hell? <laughs> Oh, when I saw that. Christ. <sighs> it's no, it's like that's what I fucking love about movies. It's like yeah. uh, and I I had like a when I was a teenager, I had a rocky relationship with him. We had almost had like a almost had a falling out. Mm-hmm. And then we like salvaged it and we worked it out and I like I love my dad. So like when I watch that, I'm just like uh, fuck. So like yeah, it's oh, just totally. I ugly cry when I watch that movie. Yeah. Oh, that stuff gets me. Like the two other films that make me cry or like yeah that family and like dad stuff like the bicycle thief i don't know oh, if you've ever fuck. watched it. oh my but god there's like one scene at the end with like where you know everything has gone wrong with the dad and he's just like trying his best for his son at the very end and i just bawl every time i watch that like a film history class like there's a huge lecture hall and i'm just at the end of the class i'm just crying uh, and I get out of there. So yeah like, why would they show this like <laughs> Keep my emotions together. Oh my <laughs> so Jesus. we're gonna learn about this funny little thing that happened called WW2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, oh my god. It, it's uh, and I I only named one other movie, but this one really gets me, and it doesn't get this. This is such an obscure movie, and it was made by a couple of Vancouverites too. This is a local film technically, even though it's all shot in Norway and it's all in Norwegian. Hmm. Um, it's called Violent. If you look it up online, if you want to check out this movie, it's under Violent 2014. Because there's like, I think another film that came out that year or after. But Mm -hmm. it's like this indie version. Um, And this movie just destroys me every single time. And it's hard to describe the plot without spoilers. But it's essentially about a girl who feels like she gets this sort of like inner message or like from the world to get out of where she lives and move away. And she ends up moving to, she lives in a small village in Norway and she moves to one of the major cities. I forget which one. And like, um, to, and she's got apparently like a cousin there and it turns out the cousin like welcomes her, but she's like the next day she's like, Oh, I'm really sorry, but I'm moving away with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And then she realizes that she's there alone. The Mm -hmm. story is, several vignettes of her on this journey of where she moves to this random city where now she's completely alone it's about people that enter her life and then exit her life oh that's and so sad it's so it's so sad and it's just like this horrible loneliness and it kind mm-hmm. of really made me think about when i moved out here yeah because it was i moved out alone and i had nobody and like people came in my life and they they left and it was just like 
yeah, I, that's how I felt. And the ending of the movie is like makes me fucking ball like oh. a, a child. It's just it's really really good. Yeah, I, I highly recommend it. Violent, two thousand fourteen. It's really good. Yeah, I have to. God, I remember you mentioning this one. I have to watch this. One I have too. to. I have to show you. Yeah. It's it's hard to get your hands on it. It's like if you want to watch this, I think it's on Amazon Prime, mm-hmm. and I think you can like. Like, like, buy it on Apple. Like, t- like, I, like, I think right. you can buy like a version of it on Apple. Um, I mean, I forget that people like buy movies still sometimes. Yeah, I want to own it on Blu-ray, but it's it's it sucks because it's like super obscure. Yeah, the, the actual physical release didn't happen until like three years later. Weird. And the band is now broken up officially of like last year. Aww. Oh yeah, sorry. It was made by ba- a band called We Are the City. It was made by a band. They, they a band called We Are the City here in Vancouver, locals, and they uh made their own music videos, and then they decided, hey, we'll just make our own movie, and it kind of turned into this beautiful disaster. Wow. Because the movie's great, but uh they didn't figure out the distribution stuff, mm. and I think they got really really screwed over because they couldn't even just. Dis- distribute the film or sell it oh, for like three years sucks. later and i think they just it was a massive massive loss yeah. for them so damn yeah all right well whenever we feel like bawling our eyes out we should watch that together yeah do you have another like ball ball my ball in movie i think i've told you about this one the little miss sunshine oh fuck yeah no, that that's one makes so me good. cry every time that, like it's oh. so good <laughs> just at the very end with the girl pageant and when she's like going up on stage and everyone's like get off the stage with the parents and the whole family just gets up and starts dancing with her oh my god i want to start crying just thinking about it it's, it's so, so good sweet. it's yeah oh it's the god. sweetest shit ever and it's like the it's funny how dysfunctional they are but at that end it's like yeah. the perfect like representation of them finally coming together uh, and just, just going like fuck this exactly god it's so weird too because i can't I can't even pinpoint what exactly about that scene like just stabs me in the heart but in like a good way it's like a, it's not a sad cry it's like a good emotional but something just hearty happy cry yeah something gets me about that every time and I don't even know what it is exactly but I love that movie no that's that's super, that's a really really good pick I think it's just like the most pure example of a good family and like yeah. family love like yeah, condensed yeah. into a, like an image exactly yeah yeah so fucking wholesome and funny that's like an awesome that's such a fucking funny movie though oh my god is it my question now i think so yeah you said what makes me cry like a baby yeah, um little baby what the fuck am i what is <laughs> wrong with yeah it really is what's your favorite color let's get this over with um yellow some people think i'm crazy for liking that color no that's that's actually dope it's uh i don't know why people are so People afraid are against of that. yellow. They're literally afraid of yellow. Isn't that like the? It's the, the fucking color of the sun. Yeah, it's the it's happy like you wait, color. You wake and like the, everyone's like, oh, love golden hour, hate yellow. Make it make <gasps> sense. Make it make sense. I'm tired of you libtards <laughs> fucking up my colors. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry, wait, Jesus. Can I? Can I? Mm, what's your favorite color? I kind of want to guess. Yeah, okay, guess. Is it blue? Yeah, it's fucking blue. <laughs> Of course. Of course it's fucking blue. You idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. It's it's yeah, no, it's uh it's definitely blue. Oh man. I I it'll it was just a ratio. I feel like most guys either like blue or red. We're simple. <laughs> we are simple folk. We fucking love So I kinda took a shot in the dark. <laughs> Who do you think invented politics? Why do you think they're red and blue? <laughs> I just solved world hunger. No. I did. <laughs> Holy that's so shit. fucked. That's that's like actual like pure autism. That's Men are so that's autistic. So I love it. Oh <laughs> They're like, okay, but like we have two opposing ideas. One is red and one, one is, is blue. Oh, blue. And they're like, they both just like, oh shit. Oh, my <laughs> Holy God. shit. That's what I was thinking. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, here's a tough one. Oh, yeah. What's your sign? Fuck off. <laughs> I, what did I tell you? What did I fucking tell you? You gotta stop it with this shit. Oh my god. This is why they're trying to ban this shit in the states right yeah. now. They're trying to get rid of TikTok. 
<laughs> I think you only learn about astrology. Girlies, th- yeah, I, they're taking over. <laughs> these astrology girlies. <laughs> Can't I'm, stop it. I'm just mad because I keep getting swiped left on <laughs> because I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, I was wondering if you're gonna tell the truth if I yeah, ask no. you this. No, <laughs> I, I say I'm a Sagittarius constantly. <laughs> it's so I'm funny. always changing it to Sagittarius. Oh my god. I'm like, and then if they question me on it, they're like, "What's your birthday?" And I'm like, "November 9th. And they're like, "Oh, but my uh, rising what? sun Wait, is no, definitely a Sagittarius." What? Mark, you can't lie about your sign and then not change your birthday. You wouldn't lie to a woman, <laughs> would you? <laughs> Dating Jesus apps, when it comes to it's your astrology, thing. it's fine. It's just Tinder. We accept Who cares? It. Uh, <laughs> They're not real. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But I just give. Let me get this straight. So you change your sign, but then you don't go to the extra step of changing your birthday as well, which is connected. Listen, numbers to your are sign. hard. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Your Honor, <laughs> <laughs> numbers are difficult. Oh, no, I, what is Sagittarius? What month is that? Dece- December. <laughs> But no, I'm such a winner, baby. Like, it doesn't matter. I am a Sagittarius. Who's it's, stopping me? It's, oh, God. It's all made up. Who cares? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and yet, I, like, don't say I'm a Scorpio. I just go for the Sagittarius because I know that everybody likes Sagittarius, apparently. Well, I don't. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sagittarius are great. I okay. mean, my mom, it's because my mom. Oh she God. put a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth. But they're not all bad. They're fun. They're the fun ones. My dad put a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> the way he looked into your eyes and there was nothing but despair. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Despair. Despair. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. A good one for the books. It's a good highlight. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh Jesus. Okay, so obviously I'm a Scorpio. Yeah. Which means compulsive liar, <laughs> douchebag, manipulator, uh, gaslighter. That was a very Scorpio joke you just made. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> How typical. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that's that's funny. Uh, so what? Like, what? 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 Like, like, what's the problem with Scorpios? Though? Why? <laughs> why do women hate Scorpios? I don't know. I love Scorpios. They're my favorite people. Okay, but like, oh, I was gonna say something horrible. Um, uh-huh. it, it's, um, but like, no, 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 but like, why? Like, why, why, why the negativity towards Scorpios? Um, cause they represent death. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought <laughs> I was goth. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> yay. No, now could be your time. No, what? they, in the, in the tarot that, they, yeah, they're, they're the death card. I never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the thing with like a poison stinger is, yeah, okay. All yeah. Right. So like everything that you uh, kind of relate to death and the occult and afterlife and ooky spooky shit, that's Scorpio. But that's <laughs> fucking, that's so dope. It's dope. That's why I don't understand the Scorpio hate. It's dope. I just, I just need to find a goth woman. Exactly. Like, where are they? Where are See, you? You have the end. <laughs> why are you lying about your sign? You sucks. Have <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Okay. Right. So you, what are you? Capricorn. But the weird thing is, um. <laughs> Typical. No, sorry. No, the thing is, I don't. I, a lot of people don't think I'm a Capricorn, and I don't. What I don't it? really feel like one. I, I'm. Well, because okay, Capricorn. It's the daddy sign, essentially. It, it's the one that has daddy energy. It's in Mars. Anyway, oh, okay. I <laughs> so it like father energy essentially like they're very practical business. They're a lot about money and following rules. Oh it's like God. that sort you're, of thing. You're literally a giga chat. You're I, an Andrew you're, Tate it's of the giga chat <laughs> But do I really strike you as giga chad? No, just a sociopath. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. So, not, so like no. a little more Gemini. But I just No. <laughs> but, uh, no. No, you, you, you not really. No. So that's why it's weird because a lot of people don't think of a Capricorn. It's not that like, you know, um, you know, actually, if you th- okay, like, the only trait I would say that that reminds me of is like mm-hmm. you've certainly built a lot for yourself. You're very uh-huh. self efficient. Uh, you're 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 very independent. Really? You yes. Think I'm independent. Yeah. Uh-huh. You've done that's you've nice. done this like nobody's helped you, have they? No. You, you, people did not believe in me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, like yeah no so so to an extent it is true it's just that yeah i don't think you exude the sort of like giga chad fucking like um 
yeah like it, like i don't like i don't know i don't like i only know like one person i've ever met in my life that was like that sort of personality mm-hmm. where they're just like just they just do everything perfectly yeah yeah so uh now it's time for your question oh shit mm-hmm <laughs> Um, but thank you for humoring me on the astrology talk. <laughs> and hey, you gave your actual side, so I'm proud of you. This podcast, we're gonna have an astrology talk at every <laughs> session. Just a little, just a little hint of it for the funsies, just silly a goofies. Touch. Yeah. Um, okay. What is my? What do you think of yourself? <laughs> what shit. do I think of myself? Um, I think I'm deranged. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> question myself constantly uh and yeah i don't know god that's really all i can come up with i think i'm just crazy that's true i um <laughs> i think i'm a fucking sh- i'm a fraud the fraud yeah no i actually i do have a lot of that imposter syndrome to mm-hmm. an extent yeah i'm like i'm getting i'm getting to this point where i'm kind of getting over it in certain ways good like good. i was saying with like the whole directing thing mm-hmm the only thing that was stopping me mostly was just like, no, you, you can't do this. This is like too good for you. Um, I still do that. I still do that a lot. Um, and, but I think that I'm getting far more self-aware mm-hmm. and I'm starting to figure out who I am as a person fully, uh, or at least, uh, like that's not like, no, that's, that's too broad. That's too perfect of a description. <laughs> just like, just more, just more so than like last year. Yeah. Sort of thing. Um, I'm Okay. I'm just an okay person. Karma, right down the you, middle. No, Centrist. you know what you are? No, 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 no. You're humble. Yeah. Yeah, you're too humble. But, uh... I'm actually the most humble person I know. <laughs> is that a... I think that's a Trump quote, actually. Shit. Oh, God, he would say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is, like, the most Trump shit. Yeah. No, but, I mean, imposter syndrome, I literally, I think everyone deals with it because it's just... When you're suddenly doing something you're not used to, you do feel like an imposter in your own life. Amongus? Amongus? Oh, sorry. Fuck. Oh, my God. I'm just sorry. No, you, you're right, though. I want to get past that as quickly as possible. Fuck me. Amongus? Duh. Why, why did I say it? It's like I knew I hated it. I have, like, some, like, very mild form of Tourette's, I swear. Like, just a mild, mild one. Dude, I, when we, I literally remember this, the first time we ever talked, you said something to me about that. You're just like, I just have a demon in me. It's just a demon. It no, just I, comes out. I just say things. Th- this is why people say, like, it's so weird that you laugh at your own jokes. That's because I don't even see it coming. I don't. It's like a jump scare what comes out of your this mouth. This is so much faster than this. And then it comes out, and I go, like, oh, no, and I have yeah. to pick up the pieces. Yeah. It, oh, my God. That's funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> is it my turn uh yes okay what's the weirdest fact you know um you like vanilla right yeah like vanilla extract uh-huh um you're gonna ruin this for me aren't you you're about to ruin vanilla for me um uh it's it comes from beavers actually mm-hmm. and it comes from a certain gland on their body. A nice gland, right? Like what, a mouth gland or it's like no, a don't. it's like a it's like a don't bottom gland. It. No, it's like a bottom gland. That. What do you mean a bottom <laughs> gland? There's only one type of bottom gland. <laughs> vanilla? Yes. Oh. Yep. That's what, if you get real vanilla, then you will avoid this. But a real vanilla is like so insanely expensive. Vanilla extract is like I have to do I have real vanilla? Uh, maybe. Does your vanilla ice cream have beaver goo in it? Ew, is it actually called beaver goo? Yeah. Um, what is the beaver scent gland in perfume? No, it's, uh, I, is there beaver goo in your artificial vanilla extract? What is beaver goo? Yeah, it comes from their assholes. It's like a, what do you call it? The secretion from their ass. And that's that, disgusting. And that's what gives the <laughs> vanilla its vanilla flavor. So one more thing they love, like, beavers for, like, they're like are our Canadian wow, symbol. Wow, they're so giving. Yeah. Just, just vanilla straight from their buttholes. Hard workers. Hard workers. Shit literally working. doesn't stink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> Only legends. animal. Legends. Literal legends. Shit don't stink. The beavers. They're just like big rats. I just love them. So what's a what's an interesting fact that you know that's so um, cool? Do you know how slugs mate? <laughs> no. Okay. So you're going to find out right now. So um, slugs are, they kind of have both genders. And so when they find a partner to mate with and have a slug baby, they meet up usually on the branch of a tree. And then the two of them intertwangle themselves. They coil? They coil between each other in a loving slug embrace. (laughs) (laughs) My ex said that about me, (laughs) honestly. (laughs) And then uh, then they just hang there for a while until a slug baby is made. What happens? Like, if they have... You said they they have both genitalia. genitalia? Yeah, I don't, I'm I don't really not like sure. A, do they become like an like a like a cum or a boros? Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I think so. What a cum or a boros? Oh or something. my god! Jesus so yeah, they're Christ. they're like slug goo melts together or I, something. I've never I never found slugs to be disgusting or, or vile until I read Junji Ito. Uh, he, he's oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah, horror, he's manga the horror manga guy. Manga guy. Um, he, I think it's an, it's kind of a fucking spoiler a bit, but like in Uzumaki, which is like the spiral terror thing that he wrote, Mm -hmm. people start turning into slugs because Mm -hmm. of like the spiral and like the shell, like people just start turning into human slug people and they start mating. Oh my God. It's fucking horrendous. It's horrendous. They don't actually show it, but like. When you said that, I, that's all I can think of is like fucking Junji Ito. Oh no, I'm giving you trauma. Oh god. The PTSD slug PTSD. That's not even like the worst thing that happens in that fucking manga either. Jesus. I'm terrified to read one of those. Just I feel like I'll never be the same afterwards. It's it's some spicy shit. How do you want to be remembered? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it is. <laughs> that sucks. How do I want to be remembered? Oh well, hopefully well. I. I don't know. I part of me wonders if I even want to be remembered. I mean, I think so. Doesn't everybody? I guess it's some. Yeah. Yeah. This deep, like, little narcissist nugget in your brain. Yeah. Everybody wants to have some form of immortality, I guess, and that's usually through being storytelling. Remembered. Yeah, being remembered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, how do you <laughs> want to be remembered? Because people are going to talk people will say things yeah over your casket like what's what's the thing that you would want them okay i hope honestly i hope that my existence was able to just uh uplift people's lives in some way i i never want to be like a burden on people and i just i hope that i brought some sort of joy to the people in my life and the people I love because it's like yeah. if I ever thought of I don't know I just would never want to be like a plague on society <laughs> jam the plague uh, yeah like, the, pla- <laughs> like the plague menace. plan I just <laughs> the plague plan my dark like like second sona or whatever yeah yeah my second sona <laughs> Um, cause I don't know, like life's hard enough and I, I never just want to make someone's life more difficult if it doesn't have to be. No. Imagine like, okay. Um, I say that and, I, and my, it's like, I've made it a career to literally just piss people off on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twitter people don't count. I've pissed people off on Twitter. They're too. not human. No, that's fine. Real. You can piss that off. That's yep. fine. Um, <laughs> no, that makes, I mean like that made sense. Like. Yeah, you want to be loved, not hated, or... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit. I, th- I think, like, to an extent, we all do. Even, like, the some of the vile people just want to be loved. Like No, exactly. Um, I just think it's, like, if I'm not, you know, bringing something to people's lives that's at least a little positive, it's, like, what's the point of even being here? It's true. I mean, like, that's a good mentality to have. <laughs> not everybody has that mentality. <laughs> Like what I'm living here just for me? Some people literally finish their shopping and they just leave the cart. 
Oh out God. in the middle of the fucking. Those are not. Those are not people. Those are forever. ants. They're <laughs> not people. <laughs> They're <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. No. I like. I'm thinking about it, and it's like. I think it is an, a funny and cool idea. This is morbid, but you know when like a celebrity dies and yeah. people go like, it's literally like they're gonna be scrolling. And they're like, guys. Ho-, they're like in a Discord call. And they're like, guys. Holy shit. Mark After Dark is dead. <laughs> and they're like, oh, fuck. It's like, oh, my God. And they start watching, like, some of my old videos. Yeah. And they're going, like, fuck. And then one of them asks, like, how did he do it? He's like, he was, he choked himself and he was jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no. No. <laughs> no. I'm, okay, I've actually had this conversation before about some <laughs> such things. And I've always thought, like, how can people do that? Because on the on the <laughs> chance that... Says, eh. that, that is how they find your body like that it's that kind of enough. setting yourself up for failure it really is you're oh, really oh. setting yourself up like oh my god finding a dead body is bad enough but like that way naked hung up mid jerk maybe i'm just i'm playing russian roulette alone it, it yeah for some reason it's your own kind of but russian for some reason roulette. i'm like oh yeah you know but i want some background noise so i stick on my little pony oh and that's how I'm found. It's like he blew his brains out, but he was watching Friendship is Magic. Oh, and it's my like, God. <laughs> like, why would, what, a, what an idiot. <laughs> I mean, oh, no, it's, it's like you're really setting yourself up. You're staging stuff in such a way. Like, why would you do that? Um, yeah, so why would you be doing a sex act that's definitely going to kill you? <laughs> like, the, the chances know. of survival Wait, are... Who was it? famous person who was found like that david carradine oh god yeah mr uh kung fu himself oh jesus no yeah that's uh yeah kill bill himself oh no yeah i mean that's like it's not a bad way to go it's just it's like the aftermath it's yeah that makes it a bad way to go yeah it's like the the idea that's now permeated like everybody knows it but even like the actual literal aftermath like somebody has to clean that up Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of aftermath happening that I do not like. I do. I'm not a fan. So, so that's not how you want to be around. No, <laughs> Jesus, this is a swing of background. Um, I, I, uh, I definitely want some people to just fucking be so happy that I'm dead. But like, I'm getting the last laugh because you're like angry. Um, and what? it's just some Twitter people. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> They're not real. Oh my god. Um, and uh. <laughs> like just all the Marvel people I've yelled at. Yeah. Like they're not real. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. And um they're just like I'm actually schizophrenic. They're just obstacles <laughs> I need to get obstacles. through. <laughs> they're just the people. Um uh, no, I want to I want people to go like I want people to be genuinely upset because maybe they feel like I've I've lived my life in such a way and I've touched people in such a way that you they go them. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's yeah. like uh, oh, like I'm genuinely very sad that he's gone. It's like, mm-hmm. oh no, um, God got another angel. Like, or sorry, <laughs> I haven't got another, another angel, angel okay. or some shit. But I, 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 fa- it's so funny. No, not fantasize. That's the wrong word. But like, <laughs> I, I think of this like somebody's just scrolling one day and they go, yeah. wait, Mark's dead. Oh no! And then it's like this huge thing, but it makes them go back and watch my content mm-hmm. or maybe my films. Yeah, and they go. Yeah, you know, rip to a real one and somebody just puts up a Twitter blurb about you and says like, oh, I remember when I first started watching him. Yeah. That sort of shit. And that's the most you can hope for mm-hmm. in this sort of day and age. Exactly. Especially with the line of work that we do. Mm-hmm. And actually, I kind of like that idea a lot. Not so much that I'm like, <laughs> like racing to get there. Is this a cry for help? <laughs> it's always a cry. This is this podcast is a cry for help. <laughs> just rename it. Um no, but uh, yeah, it's like I think that's uh, I think that's a great honor because yeah. I've really tried to honor people who have died that yeah. I really care about that way. You know, and I think uh, yeah, it's kind of the same for me. It's like just hoping that you impacted someone or people in a positive way, and like yeah, they miss you when you you're gone. You added something to their lives that yeah. is positive. Like I might not have kids, but uh, because people think about legacy and stuff, mm-hmm. I, and I kind of hate that idea because like they're not a continuation of me; they're their own yeah. person. Yeah. But like people get it twisted. Yeah. Um. But 
to me, legacy would just be how are people going to feel like when you're gone? Yeah. And what happy memories, hopefully happy memories yeah, exactly. are going to be left. Exactly. You got objectively way better looking <laughs> questions than me. It's so funny. I think I'm almost out of good questions. I was the one that's like, we should ask questions. I'm going to get on this. <laughs> I had a whole week and it's like, all I got is like, oh, you got a crush on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Okay. What quality impresses you the most in somebody? Humor. Yeah. It's got to be humor. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's pr- I'm probably the same answer. I didn't even think about that, but when you said it, I'm like, yeah, same for me. I, I was really, yeah, you know, like I really did do like a Rolodex. It wasn't that easy to answer in a way, even though I was so quick about it, but it's true. If it was the one thing you had mm-hmm. to put a gun to my head, yeah, it's humor. A second thing I think would be, um, I think it's got to be just like, is, is it quality? Like a quality of theirs. Is that what the question was? Yeah, like a quality or a trait. Like what just impresses you about somebody? It could be anything. Um, shit. Okay, this is kind of complicated. Okay. Mm-hmm. Self-assuredness. Yeah. But, you know, that doesn't mean that they have to always know everything about themselves at all times. Everybody mm-hmm. has doubt. Yeah. That's actually a terrible character trait. Somebody who never questions themselves. Right. Um, you have to question yourself. So mm-hmm. it's a it's a balancing act. It's somebody who is self assured, but they are you but know not like cocky someone, or maybe self aware is actually a way better yeah. Yeah, response. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, no, no, self aware. Mm-hmm. That is a that's the number two trait. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think those are good. Yeah, but humor is like number one. You, you got to be funny. <laughs> Elvis, it's over. <laughs> You're done. You're done here. Get out of here. <laughs> Damn, that was quick. It was like literally was like. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Um, I'm good at this. Oh, what were your dreams as a child? Like. Oh my! Oh, not like actual dreams. Like you can tell bed. me a childhood dream. I don't care. That's. But like dreams, like what I wanted to be when I. Yeah. Grew what were up? your aspirations? I guess. Um, I remember the first wish I ever made for what I wanted to be when I grew up was a pretty butterfly. Fuck that didn't yes. happen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's the thing. We can make your dreams come true. Like somebody comes in with cellophane and they just start oh wrapping you. Um, it's your metamorphosis. I just really <laughs> liked butterflies. I wanted to be one. So I think, I think probably actual proper human dream was. Um, I mean, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be an actor. I thought that's what I was gonna do. Like. I wanted to act and be in movies and TV and stuff. Um, that's awesome. You're kind of, you're literally on that road right now. You actually are kind of doing that. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's actually yeah, pretty it's dope. Not, it's funny because it did kind of manifest itself differently than I thought when I was a kid. Like I never thought of voice acting. I didn't even really know what that was. But uh, that's kind of I where we are now. And it, it would be cool if I could make that happen. Yeah, no, I think I think you can. I think it's a matter of time. You're you're working on it. It's fucking mm-hmm. awesome. Like I, I'm kind of at the same stage, and my answer is literally the same. I literally I just want to be a director. Just yeah. Want to make movies, mm-hmm. and that's where I'm at to right now. It's like it's not even finished, but like I'm getting there. It's it's gonna happen. Isn't that fun? Like and kind of cool. How many times you've seen people who kind of have these dreams as a kid, and then in a way it presents itself in adulthood. Like sometimes it's not as straightforward as you think, but it's like it's like we kind of know what we want to do even when we're really young. It, it yeah, no, that is actually awesome, and it's uh, I, you know, I'm not trying to shit on anybody who's had that self doubt, mm-hmm. but like every every kid has a dream. But you yeah. know when you get to that age where you're like, you're in school, and then somebody asks you that again, it's like, oh, so what's your dreams? What do you want to do? And you just go, I don't know. Yeah. It's like. Like it's not that the dream died; you just kind of forgot. Exactly. And or you had other people putting other ideas in your head of like, "Oh, that's not possible." Or yeah, yeah. And yeah. so like that's what happens to the dream, mm-hmm. and then you do get out there, and all of a sudden the dream makes its way back to you somehow. Yeah. And I know that doesn't technically happen for everybody, but it is cool that that happens, and it seems like it's almost like yes, we're 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 in control of ourselves, you know, we're sentient, but like, yeah. uh. I feel I do kind of feel like it was a little bit of happenstance mm-hmm. too. Like things fall have certainly fallen into place. Yeah. As well as like I've pushed for it as well. I think same with you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, even like just streaming and stuff is kind of similar in that like I just wanted to 
entertain people in some way I think in perf- that performative nature like as a kid I just loved doing stuff like that and so now they get to do that today is yeah it's pretty cool no oh, this is awesome <laughs> 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 we're in a good place in our lives <laughs> um what mom you- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had an epiphany oh god yeah yeah yeah, just right now. Just right now. <laughs> no, um, oh God, uh, I have had an epiphany. That's my epiphany. No, I, I've I've had plenty of epiphanies where it's just like, um, all of a sudden all the little pieces just clicked into place, mm-hmm. and you have like an actual Jimmy Neutron brain blast. Yes, that's my <laughs> favorite Neutron brain. The callback. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was my favorite movie as a kid. And oh you, my and God. you're just like. You feel like you have a brain overload. And yeah. Like, I'm I'm generally, like, this is not true, but I generally, like, throughout my day to day, I'm just kind of like, I'm kind of a fucking idiot. <laughs> and then suddenly yeah, I'll same. have that. And I go, no way. I'm a, I'm a genius. I'm actually a genius. It all makes sense now. I'll come up with, like, st- fucking ideas and stuff for things or, yeah. or something just clicks into place. Yeah, yeah. no. I, I can't even, it's, it's stupid that I can't even name one. Yeah, I though. can't. See, I, it's funny, too, because I have epiphanies all the time to the point where, like, uh, you know, Laura, she always makes fun of me because we'll be talking and I'll be like, I'm having an epiphany. <laughs> like, in the middle of, like, like us. Shut walking, up. So it's, like, happening. it's happening. It's happening. It's <laughs> happening. <laughs> to the oh. point. She's like, oh, what are your epiphanies again? But I can't, I can't even think of one. But it's just, it's. <laughs> Isn't that the fucking funniest part, though? It's like I've had these great revelations. What yeah. were they? Can't remember. Can't remember. But it was at the time mind blowing, life changing. I promise you. It's like I gotta tell you something. It's like what God like spoke to me. He like he made me see yeah. the connect the connecting, the connecting dots. dots. It's dots. like what were they? What were they? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I can't, can't remember. Actually, can't remember. I didn't write it down. Didn't. <laughs> wasn't important at the time um <laughs> you know it comes down from the mountain it's like guys this is big news the burning but bo- he talked to me and they're like well, what do you say <laughs> <It's> just- <laughs> he's like actually holding the slabs but nothing around him it's like oh my god oh, shit. shit i think i forgot something um, I do have a few more. Do you have any more? Like, oh, well, yeah. Um, let's see. I'll I'll, I'll number how many I have left. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. Nice. Uh, if your life was a genre, wh- which would it be? Oh God, rom com probably. Okay. <laughs> what about That's fair. You? <laughs> um, what about yours? Oh, you're pulling out the subgenres. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? This is a sub-genre? horror comedy. <laughs> there we go. Yes, it does. Tucker and Dale versus uh, Evil. That's it. Uh, the, I, the I think evil I dead. actually know what you're talking about. Uh, Tucker and Dale Is versus that, Evil. I think I have seen that. I think that's yeah. I know it's the, the two hillbillies. Yeah. And they get mistaken for evil. Yeah, and they're not. And it's but the teens. Die anyway. the evil ones. Yeah. Oh my god. That's I love that fuck. That's such a good movie. It's so solid. Horror comedy. Yeah. So you have a lot of mass murder in your life. And slashing? No, there's just a lot of <laughs> stress. And oh, no. Like, actually, Bo's Afraid is a very polarizing film that came out, like, last year. Uh, Ari Aster. But that is one of the fucking funniest movies I've ever seen. Wait, what's it called? Bo is Afraid. Oh, I, you Bo's told afraid. me that I wanted to see that one. I, I, will, I will watch it with you, but okay. my God, is it just a... F- it, it is insanity. Yeah. It's like... it's It becomes a little too much. But really? then, But I like that about it, yeah. Especially the second half. It goes from, like, straight comedy to, mm-hmm. like, the slow descend into, like, comedy horror to just pure horror. Pure horror. Yeah, and it, it's just, oh, my God. It, it's, like, I felt like I was being personally attacked in that film. That's what happens comedy when you have mommy horror. issues. Anyways. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like, yeah, comedy <laughs> horror. <laughs> Go on, then. What would your stripper name be? The first thing that came to my, la- my oh my god, <laughs> the first words that came to my head were just candy lips. <laughs> what? <laughs> Last name lips. <laughs> what? The- that was. It was like you would. What would your stripper name mean? It was like boom, boom. It was like <laughs> the most. That was an epiphany. That's- <laughs> 
it candy was just lips. candy lips. Say it. Say it now. I was like, okay. Oh like, like somebody was, was yelling at me to say it. That was better than I could have ever imagined. What would your stripper name be? You can't ask me that. That's sexist. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. You can't pull that card. Piece of shit. I don't Honestly, I don't think I can come up with anything better than candy lips. I really... <laughs> you can't I say don't. that. you got to come up with something. I okay. don't. Okay, no. <laughs> Literally, okay, exit, like, cleanse your mind. You start, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this into the mic. <laughs> Chest high it, it, what? It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a cool summer oh, day. Oh, gosh, okay, paint your me the picture. Your chest high in English Bay. You're, you're the water. Oh. You're just, you're just like kind of kicking. You're the just kind of hanging out in the water. water. Yes. And it's just you hear the seagulls, but they're not annoying today. It's just like they're kind of in the distance, and you're just you have this quiet moment. It's just yeah. nothing but the waves sort mm-hmm. of crashing on your body, and you go, "Wow, I'm one with the earth." What's your stripper name? <laughs> go <laughs> now, faster. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is actually this isn't working out for me. <laughs> Because I asked this to put you on the spot, and you were not put on the spot at all. You just knew in your heart. In my heart, I'm candy your heart lips. Hearts, from deep within, you pulled it out of there, and I, I now I'm being put on the spot because I don't know what my stripper name would be. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is devastating. I thought I could podcast with you. <laughs> <laughs> you could just shout it at any point. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... What is your dream project? Dream project? Right now, it's start a podcast. <laughs> oh, oh, Whoa. are you not subscribed? Oh, make my dreams come true. Point and laugh. Doing? Point at the the imbecile who didn't click the subscribe button. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, podcast? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty decent. I mean, I, I need to make easy money somehow. Yeah. No, wait. We shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Thank God it's still recording. Woo! Woo! Winner, winner. Ow! <laughs> Little man. I lo- I lo- I okay, but seriously, I love tuna so much. Aw, I'm so glad you like my kitty like, cat. I, okay, I'm not like a cat hater, but obviously like it kind of makes it hard with the allergies and stuff, but mm-hmm. like tuna is... Like he's just like he, uh, he just gets me. <laughs> that's like, so cute. Like if there was a cat that had Kennergy, that's <laughs> it's tuna. He does. He has Kennergy. He does. He, that's what it is. He's got it so strong. I know he's like pissed. He need, he wants food. Tuna, you are Knuff. You are Knuff. Yeah. He's just like shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Kennergy. That's so. I love that. I could never. I didn't really know how to describe him because he's kind of like. A little baby, but then he's also like a dumbass, and I just, <laughs> <laughs> but in like a cute, adorable, like I love you forever kind of way. So he's so he's he's so loving. Yeah. He's, he's also like a little gentleman. Yeah. Look at him. He's just cleaning himself. You actually wash. It's like, <laughs> you're already like, and then like one percentile of men. <laughs> um, God damn the self roast. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. What? What's going to happen to you when you die? Um, I'll be cremated, hopefully. No, like... Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I hope they burn me up. I hope they get rid of what it. A, what do you mean? What else do you do when you die? What? No, well, I think that was supposed to be more um, heady and existential and like <laughs> possibly... Uh, What's going to happen when I die? Philosophical, religious, whatever. What's going to happen to you when you die? Um, I think the worms will eat my brain. Oh my, okay. <laughs> okay, atheist. No, it's, no, it's fine. It's I don't care. Oh, this is an after life after death yes, question. Yes, Jesus. Oh, okay. I, don't know why I, I was thinking of like my corpse. The worms going to work like, their way through my body. What would happen to my rotting body? But no, that's a, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, what, what do you think is going to happen to you when you die? God, I don't know. I I really like I the idea. I don't know is a total valid answer, by the way. I because I really don't. I like the idea of reincarnation. That's pretty dope. Could be. That's like my working theory right now. It's the one I believe in the most. Some sort of reincarnation, yeah. going back into the earth. Yeah, uh, coming back as a worm to torment my ex. <laughs> be like, yeah. Guess who is a worm guess now? Guess who's a worm now? <laughs> Figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> 
put a ring on it. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, you you made a promise. Good. Sorry. That's good. Okay. Um, I, oh, yeah. Fuck. I have an answer. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Um, I, th- I think I legitimately like I'm not like religious, but I, I think I'm very much opening up as I get older yeah. to like spiritual shit. Yeah. I genuinely think that we have a soul and I think so too. something happens to that. I don't know what maybe maybe it just goes on to another place or yeah, reincarnation. Maybe just like plops into another body or something mm-hmm. i don't know but like yeah, yeah I, f- I feel like some y- you go on in some way maybe that's that's kind of what i think too yeah and that's wait nice actually thought, that least. kind of leads to my next question do you believe in ghosts yes i fucking believe in ghosts i i like like have a very personal connection to that too uh i i even if you go to my channel i uploaded several stories of not just like i think four ghost encounters two Ghosty of which are my stories yeah uh two of which are my own two times i've seen a ghost or dealt with a ghost that's crazy you've actually seen a ghost yeah and insane in, in to like if this makes any fucking this, if this makes any sense because i'm into making horror films too yeah my idea of a ghost is so specific death scorpio i know bringing it back the occult dude i like are you attached to the spirit realm or something? Maybe. Like, what the hell? I might be a bit of a conduit. Like. Oh, shit! A conduit! <laughs> I'm a bit dark-sided. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit edgy. Um, no, it's... <laughs> no. A bit of uh, a conduit. <laughs> um, <laughs> a no? No, but... Uh, no. <laughs> what? No? No? Um, <sighs> it's a... Uh, yeah, I got I got haunted. I got spooked as a kid. Um, actually, no. One of them. What am I talking about? One of them was right before I moved here. So like, not even ten years ago, I got literally almost like ten years to like the, the day yeah. uh, ago. I got like haunted by something. I don't even know what. But one of the, one of those times when I was younger, I actually physically saw the ghost. And when I'm doing horror stuff and I talk about ghosts. I'm so specific about how a ghost should look. Yeah. Because I saw one. And I'm like, no, that's how they look. And that's what I'm going to try to do. And what I saw, if, like, for if anybody's curious, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but, like, what I saw was um, quite literally, like, a black outline of a person, like a silhouette that was just kind of floating or pushing forward. That's so creepy. And, but it had... Almost like a wisp of black running off of it. Like, you know, steam? I, wait, I hate that. What do you mean? Yeah. So it was a perfect, like, black shadow cutout of a person. It was of an old woman. Mm-hmm. And it was moving kind of towards me down the stairs. And it just had this, like, almost kind of faint, wispy steam kind of rolling off of it that was also black. And that's, and I saw it for, like, a second. And then it was gone creepy yeah and the and to confirm it wasn't just like a trick of my eyes uh my entire family saw it really yeah oh my god that's everyone so turned their head and saw it and then somebody out loud said did you see that and then when i talked I to everybody later they described pants. the exact same thing what the fuck yeah and they were like yeah it looked like an old woman it, lo- it was like i mean the most like you picture an old lady yeah her hair tied back in a bun yeah and stuff and kind of like slouched and it was just like floating like towards oh. us down the stairs. Yeah, I think I think you might be like attached to the spirit world or something. That's insane. What the hell? I should be going my own. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Baggins? Uh, Zach Baggins? That guy? Uh-huh. That fucking loser? Uh, <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> that's ectoplasm yeah, that's okay <laughs> <laughs> there's coming out of you no, no, um he, he's the guy who uh, ghost adventures adventures ghost adventures ghost adventures ghost adventures ghost adventures what are the ghost adventures no he, he's the guy from ghost adventures who's a fucking idiot he's like such a dude bro and he wears like super tight shirts oh, God. he's like yo ghost you wanna like come out and fucking face me <laughs> like like yeah you should do that like, are you being a little bitch, ghost? <laughs> like, it's he's such a oh he's such God. a douche. Yeah, uh, yeah. Don't like Zach. No. Oh wait, I have another question. Oh yeah. Would you want to become a ghost? Actually, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless it's like this horrible thing that I can't a horrible undo. Horrible torment. Yeah. If I'm yeah. just doomed to wander. Yeah, yeah. But, but it was like a little temporary, a little limbo action. But yeah, like okay, and then hypothetical. Think about it like this. Mm-hmm. This is something that I would particularly like. Maybe yeah. that wouldn't be so bad because if I had nothing but free time, I think that's exactly what I would do. What? As a living person, it was just like float around and like look at people while they sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it's just, uh, yeah. I see, yeah. I see. That'd be perfect for you then. No, I, yeah. like, I, I, like if uh, if being a ghost is literally just wandering the living plane and yeah. just kind of like like something out of a ghost story, just like watching people and shit, people watching. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I, I think that would make perfect sense for me. Cause You'd enjoy that the if ghost I can't, lifestyle. I would just I would like ghostly like float. I'm literally picturing myself in like the bed sheets. <laughs> I would just float into like a movie theater and watch a movie, and I just float and oh after people God. and just like watch the people watch all day. I have never thought about that. The free movie access that ghosts have the ability to yeah see. You would never be bored as a ghost if you had like I don't know how ghost rules work. If you're like yeah. haunting a location strictly that would suck yeah i'd hate to be just trapped in an apartment and then getting angry at any time somebody moved in but if you could go anywhere if you could just you could go travel the world anywhere as a fucking ghost that would actually be kind of that'd be cool. kind of dope maybe it's not so bad for them maybe yeah or it could be eternal torment oh yeah, yeah uh, maybe i bl- want to really. blow my brains out and yeah. it can't happen yeah fuck the worst what's the f- what's the funniest lie you've told yourself oh we go on like delulu delusional brain yeah like, lie. What's what's something you've lied to yourself about, but it's like oh funny. Oh my god, this is a good question, but I, it's a tough one. I'm I know. To think of one. I feel like I've lied to myself a lot throughout yeah. my life. Um, do you have one? Like on the, off the top of my head yeah. is that I I definitely lie to myself on a daily basis that I definitely have more money in my bank account. Oh, than that's it's actually a good one. there. Yeah, just. Like every time I make a like, oh yeah, I could just like spend four hundred dollars on a camp. Like li- this is this month. This is what happened to me. Yeah, I came home from my trip to Victoria, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna spend four hundred dollars on a new uh film camera that I don't need. And then I go, wait, what? I can't pay for groceries. This is crazy. <laughs> like, what's happening? I clearly have. There should be five hundred dollars in my account. It's like five bucks. Yeah, it's 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 ridiculous, and I just I don't know why I just lie to myself. Yeah, I'm like no no no, it's fine. I can I can buy this. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's uh, I'm I'm pretty decent with money, but I have these moments where that just happens where I'm just delusional. I'm yeah. actually a mental case. Mm-hmm. Actually, that reminds me, I'm kind of the same way, but uh, I'm like that with time, and I I'm not. <laughs> I'm a little bit better now, but it still happens sometimes where like. I'll be getting ready for something. Say I have to be somewhere at 12 o'clock. It'll be like 11.55. And I'll be like, it'll be fine. I got time. I got time. I'll be on time. I will I could literally be on my way somewhere 10 minutes late. And I'll be like, I'll get there. It'll work. <laughs> like, I used to be so bad with that. <laughs> literally so on my way though. 20 minutes late. And it's like, I'll get there in time. It'll be fine. No, it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. If I leave exactly right now, you're still I in can, bed. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, I don't know. I think there's plenty of answers, but they would probably be, I'd have to think really hard yeah, about it. This is, this is one of those questions, like, I need a night to sleep on it. And, and then, then, and then some of these answers would probably actually be, like, horrible. I'd just be like, yeah, I lie to myself that I'm good. Uh, no. Like, ah. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Delusional thoughts. You gotta have them. They get you through the day, you know, sometimes. I, th- I think I'm taller than I am. <laughs> really? Like, I, my mental projection is like, I don't I don't see what's the big deal. And I'm like, down here. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a little gobble man. I'm like, scuttling. I have to like, scuttle everywhere. I feel, actually, I feel like I'm the opposite of you, where I just think I'm like, a little gremlin. <laughs> like, I think I am so short. So that I'll literally like, look in... Like, look at it if there'll be a mirror or something, and I'll see other people and be like, oh, wait, I'm not, like, on the floor right now. <laughs> I'm taller than that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, I, I was taller than that. Yeah. You just have this mental image that you can dart in between people's legs and get yes! past. Yes, like- <laughs> yes. Literally. I think I'm gremlin size. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> um. 
Um, I think I had one more very important question. Oh, okay. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Fuck <laughs> off. You're such a piece of shit. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Did you pull that off Reddit? Jesus Christ. So. No, it's of course it's not. It's his own fucking category. The meat's not right. But it's, if you think about it, it is two pieces of bread with meat inside. You're, a, you're <laughs> fucked, buddy. <laughs> you're mental. You just really oh, cereal is salad food. if you think about it. If you really think, think soup, about it. Though, if, you, if you think about it. Fucking shit. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Actually, I get angry when people call hamburger sandwiches. Like, what happened? Why, mm. why are we? And this is like a recent. This is a recent thing. Now we're calling them sandwiches out of nowhere. Yeah. They're like, oh, um, yeah, no, it's like, this is actually, it's McDonald's that's doing it too. Oh, no. They're calling them, not burgers, they're calling them sandwiches. <laughs> they're like, I think, you know why? I bet it's like a whole conspiracy because sandwiches sounds healthier. Yes. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. It's a burger. Who yeah. gives a shit? Know what you are. <laughs> know what you are. The day McDonald's tried to be healthy, they just lost a part of themselves. <laughs> they just, they, they're lost in the sauce. Those people go to McDonald's and they're like, I'm going to eat a healthy food meal item today. That's they, they, that's their delusion ship. They even up the price of everything at McDonald's. Like, I'm not even like oh, that yeah. big of an, a McDonald's fan. Uh, A&W Club, <laughs> every, all the way. Hey! Hey! hey. Um, but it, it's it's they've raised the price of everything, and it's already fucking garbage. Like, you were so reliable when you just made cheap crap for yeah. crap money. Like, it's it was it was fine. You had a good thing going. Now it's cheap crap for good money. So. And that's just not get, that's not going to do. It's not going to slide. It's like good. when homeless people stop going to your restaurant, you fucked <laughs> up, McDonald's. Yeah, no, for real. When your place oh, isn't no. littered with homeless people, like like I'll okay. I I went drinking. I went down to Granville Island on a weekend yeah. drinking, which is insane. I've never done that before mm-hmm. because it gets hectic. It gets fucking hectic there. Yeah. And I went to one of the McDonald's and there was one homeless guy. And Unheard he of. asked and just to use the washroom. And then they said no and he left. He wasn't getting any food from McDonald's. That is saying that something. That is saying something. We have a crisis. There's no dollar menu anymore. Yeah. More like unhappy meal. <laughs> no, it's it's just like, what are you fucking doing? Oh, my God. As, a, as an organization. No, it's the worst. Absolute trash. Last question. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, I am. I am happy. Are you happy? I'm actually happy. Yeah. This is probably like the, ha- like, I'm not even happy. I like kidding. This is probably like the last couple of years, just a very recent, like this year, last year. Yeah. Happiest I've ever been, I think. It's been a slow progression towards happiness over the years. There's character arcs being fulfilled. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's, there's, there's the growth. The arcs are happening. The growth. <laughs> there are, mentally it's happening life is taking on a rocky Wait. montage it's just Ooh, it's working yes <laughs> a montage fighting up that hill yeah um this is this is good i think this is a good cutoff i don't I even know so. how long we've been recording for all right that's it for the podcast that's I think so yeah episode zero this is the pilot uh tell us what you guys think how'd mm-hmm. you how'd you feel about that I felt good. That was great. Yeah, what was about dope. you? Yeah, I felt this is great. Honestly, this has been in the works for so long because mm-hmm. me and Aria just get into these hour long rants. Yeah. And we're like, this is just a like money in the bucket. We we are just we, we should be on a podcast. Gotta we monetize our podcast. lives. Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> the content brain. Uh we gotta pay rent. Okay, guys. <laughs> we gotta monetize our, our ch- little chats. A little chat. <laughs> Uh, it's super easy talking to you. I don't. Th- I can't picture anybody else doing like a podcast with. Yeah, like, same. I, I think there, there's been ideas and there's been offers, but I I've turned them all down. So they <gasps> for me. Yeah, you love me. Just you. Oh my god! <laughs> can't believe it. Uh, all right. I guess that's gonna do it. Yeah. Um, give us feedback. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that, and uh, yeah, tell us how we did. But um, I just want to let some of you know that if you were sort of upset or offended by anything that we said here today i just want to let you know that we said it all disrespectfully Disrespectfully. good night